haven't seen Tome in a while. Who knows what that guy's working on these days? <laughs> Probably something of the utmost importance, as ever. Taking guests out for lavish meals, cleaning up around the house, the usual. We have people like that to thank for the decline of the samurai spirit in this day and age. If you're just gonna schmooze your way through every problem in life, you might as well put your blade on the scrap heap. It's like everything. Use it or lose it. Also, I heard he's Mondstadt, born and bred. Just saying. Oh, well, no wonder. What do you think Miss Kamisato even sees in that guy? <sighs> Sorry, I haven't slept too well the last couple of days, on account of all this rain we've been having. Wait, what are you all doing here? Has something happened? <laughs> we were just having a little chat on our break. It's time we were going. There's still lots to do. We're busy people, Toma. You do well to grow a sense of urgency, too. Well, uh, thank you, gentlemen. I'll think about that when my vacation's over. Sorry I'm a little late. Something came up. Yep, <laughs> I sure did. No big deal, though. People like to criticize those who don't fit in. It's the same everywhere. If a little private gossiping helps them let off some steam, well, good for them. It does no harm to the Kamisato clan. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> exactly. Or live and let live, as they say. Today, it's time for a hard-earned rest. There's been so much to deal with since I got out of Komori Tea House. Oh, man, this vacation's been a long time coming. Uh, there's too much going on here. Let's find somewhere more peaceful to discuss the plan for the day. You're still my guest, after all, and I'd like to hear your ideas. I keep thinking, since I'm the host here, we ought to do something you'll enjoy. But despite that, I still haven't got a clear plan on where to take you. <laughs> so, what do you usually prefer? Indoor or outdoor activities? Sounds like a plan. I don't really feel like spending my day running all over the place either. In which case, let's head to Komori Tea House. There's nowhere better to sit and chat quietly with a pot of tea. I'll head over there right now and get a few things prepared. Come and join me when you're ready. Oh, uh, welcome. It must have been a while since you were last here. Uh, since it's about time to eat, I couldn't resist whipping up a little something for us. So please, help yourself. I hope you enjoy it. And <laughs> I can't claim to compete with the likes of Uyu Restaurant Chef, but I think I did all right. Uh, what's wrong? You look shocked. <laughs> whoa, whoa, there's been a misunderstanding. I admit, I may have added a few weird things to that hot pot, but it was just a game. For normal meals, I cook normal dishes. I am a housekeeper, after all. <laughs> Wouldn't have gotten very far without a few culinary skills. Anyway, please dig in. I won't get the chance to cook for you like this every day. <laughs> well, seems like my cooking has your seal of approval. You're welcome. When you're out adventuring on your own, you've got to maintain your quality of life. Take your cape, for example. I definitely see one or two loose threads there. If you ignore them, sooner or later the whole seam is going to come undone. And then you'll have a really tough time mending it. Let me sew it up for you later. I'm pretty handy with the needle and thread. Speaking of housekeeping, I can say with confidence that you won't find anyone as handy around the home as I am. Cleaning, cooking, and mending are among my greatest strengths. <laughs> you can always feel free to hand me jobs like this. Hmm? What is it? Wait, you're suggesting I teach housekeeping to the Ashiro Commission staff? Uh, 
I'm not sure it would work. I doubt anyone would sign up for that class. I just don't think it's realistic to change people's perception of me just by showcasing my housekeeping skills. <laughs> I'm surprised that whole matter is still troubling you, actually. With that being said, finding an opportunity to share some housekeeping wisdom with the Yashiro Commission would certainly be in people's best interests. <sighs> Life maintenance is important. You have to look after yourself if you're going to bring your best self to your work. You know what? Let's give it a try. But first, how do you think I should promote it? You think so? In that case, I need to prepare. If I'm going to end up with a lot of students, I should make sure I have all the supplies I need for the class. Tables and chairs I can sort out easily enough, but I'll need to stock up on materials and ingredients for the textiles and cookery segments. Are you sure? That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, let's see. To start with, I'll be needing lavender melon, fowl, and flour. Once we have all our essentials, we can figure out the next steps. I really hope everything goes smoothly. Great! That's all the ingredients we need. Time to hit the streets and launch our grand advertising campaign. As it happens, I know someone in town who runs a textiles business. I'm sure she must know lots of people interested in housekeeping. So, let's pay her a visit. Welcome to Ogre Textiles and Kumo... Oh! Hi, Toma! What brings you here? Looking to buy some fabric? We have a new batch in. It's a great choice if you're looking to make loungewear. <laughs> it sounds interesting. I'll take a look. But the main reason I'm here today, though, is to pick your brain about something. Oh? And what might that be? Well, we're thinking of starting a housekeeping class. Problem is, I'm not sure where to go looking for students. So, I was wondering if you might help me spread the word. Among other things, I'll be teaching some handy sewing techniques. So, providing everything goes smoothly, I'll be needing to buy quite a lot of fabric from your store. Do you think you'd be able to lend a hand? Of course, it'd be my pleasure. And thank you for supporting my business, Toma. As it happens, several of my regular customers do have an interest in housekeeping. After I've closed up for the day, I'll go and talk to them for you. I'm almost certain that they'll want to sign up. The only thing is, I'm not sure there's enough of them for a whole class. <gasps> ah, I know. Yoko is supposed to be very well connected in the community. Why don't you go and ask her? Yuko? Hmm. I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere before. So, she has an interest in housekeeping? Correctly, she mentioned in conversation once that she's tried knitting a sweater a few times, but just can't get the hang of it. With your housekeeping expertise, I'm sure you'd be able to get her interested. Great! Thanks for all your help, Miss Ogura. Alright, let's go try our luck with Yuko. Honestly, my husband doesn't lift a finger around the house. The moment he's home on his day off, it's shoes off and straight to bed so he can just lie there doing nothing. Ugh, I have one of those at home as well. I know his work is tiring, but recently I've been really struggling with all the housework. It's starting to give me a backache. They act like it's our job, just because we do it. But nobody trained us, either. Uh... Hello, ladies. Might I ask which one of you is Yuko? Oh, that would be me. Sorry, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. 
I'm Toma, the housekeeper for the Ashiro Commission. We're looking to start a housekeeping class at the Commission headquarters. I was just wondering whether that might be something that interests you. Housekeeping? As a class? That's right, yes. We'll be teaching a whole bunch of handy housework tips and tricks. Sweeping, mopping, laundry, cookery, you know, that sort of thing. All based on my years of experience as a housekeeper. The class is free, of course. The only cost to you is the materials used during the class. Hmm, what do you think? I think this is suspiciously coincidental. Well, I'll be straight with you ladies. I believe the classes are free for a limited time only, right, Traveler? So far, attendance has been a little on the slow side, so we decided to start offering free trial classes. In other words, we won't charge you for the first few classes you attend. After the trial period comes to an end, and if you're still satisfied with the results, you can book more classes for yourself and complete the rest of the course. I'll be sure to give you a favorable price. I see. It certainly sounds reasonable. But I have a question. Is this class restricted to women only? Oh, not at all. It's open to people of all genders and ages. The way I see it, housework comprises an essential set of skills that no one could afford to be without. You've got to know how to look after yourself. Life should come before work, don't you think? Well said. In that case, I'll bring my husband along. Sounds like he could learn a thing or two from you. Me too. Oh, and while you're at it, have you thought about asking Nagano? I'm sure older folks like him would have time to attend. The more the merrier, right? Thank you, Toma. Uh, please excuse us. All right. I'll see if I can convince the older folks to come along and make up the numbers. Housekeeping class, eh? I was handy around the home back in the day. Sadly, the older I get, the fewer things I'm able to do myself. You're very young. Are you quite sure you're up to the task of teaching housekeeping? It's not as easy as you might think. I will do my very best. As housekeeper for the Kamisato clan, I've been honing my craft for a long time now. I believe I'm up to the task. Very good, young man. Well then, I shall have to come and see for myself. If you are as good as you claim to be, I will encourage everyone I know to attend your classes. And if I find your skills to be lacking, I will be quite happy to teach a few things myself. What can I say? We'll be honored to have you in attendance, sir. <sighs> well then. That will probably just about do it as far as promotion is concerned. Let's head back to the Yashiro Commission. Housekeeping, you say? You know, since it's Toma teaching, I'd definitely be up for going. Unfortunately, I have quite a lot going on over the next couple of days. But could I swing by once my schedule's freed up? I'd definitely like to give it a try. Oh, no problem at all. You can join whenever you like. Thanks, Toma. Also, this isn't really my place, but if you're starting a housekeeping class, haven't you thought about asking Furuta? As the Kamisato clan's butler, I'm sure she'd know a lot about housekeeping. Sure. Let's go pay her a visit. <sighs> Let's hope this goes smoothly. Toma, and the guest. This is a rare combination. Has something happened? Oh, not at all. We were just thinking of starting a housekeeping class. A housekeeping class? How wonderful! Do you know, I've always wanted to have Koharu learn from you. Oh, finally the time has come. I'm guessing you intend to open the class up to the whole Yashiro Commission? Not just housekeeping staff and servants, right? In which case, 
Why don't you do a big spring clean of the commission itself? It would be a great way to showcase your merits. Seeing is believing, after all. You could spend a long time trying to convince them with words alone, or you could let them see you in action with their own eyes. I like Furuta's suggestion, and it's not like we have a better idea anyway. In which case, heck, why not? Let's showcase the appeal of housekeeping for all in the Yashiro Commission to see. Let's get started. And the flowers will really flourish now that the weeds are gone. While we're here, though, we should water the trees. The whole Yashiro Commission looks as good as new. We had a lot of spectators, huh? <laughs> I wonder if we managed to get any of them interested. Either way, thanks for your help. I usually handle all of this stuff on my own, but having you join me today was a pretty great experience. Well, here's hoping. I'll set out some tables and chairs tonight. I've got no idea how many people will show up tomorrow. <sighs> Make sure you get some good rest tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome, one and all. This is my first time teaching a housekeeping class, just as I'm sure it's your first time attending one. I'd like to start from the theory, if I may, and talk a little bit about why mastering the discipline of housekeeping is such an important thing. Quick, come in. Toma started the class already. Well, of course. No one's ever held a class like this in the past. I saved you a place. Please take a seat. The way I see it, housekeeping is a unique skill set that empowers you to set your life in order. Nowhere are these skills more pertinent than in the context of a marital relationship. In a marriage, the lives of two people become closely intertwined. If you can't look after yourself properly, that burden ends up being shouldered by your partner. This, in turn, will start to take a toll upon the relationship with... Um... Huh? What are you doing here? What the? Huh? I brought him. Didn't you say men can study housekeeping too? Wipe that look off your face. Aren't you going to greet the teacher? No, it's... I... I... Darling. Hello, teacher. <sighs> For the love of... Hello, teacher. <laughs> well, hello, and welcome. Now that you're here, I expect you to pay attention and work hard. Well, let's keep going. Housekeeping is not difficult, per se. The difficult part is consistency, keeping on top of it over a long stretch of time. To keep up with housework on an ongoing basis, you either have to love everything about it, or you need a few tricks up your sleeve to make things easier. So, for today's topic, we're going to focus on... How to make light work of housework. Um, excuse me, you over there, focus, please. I like to see active engagement in my lessons. That is, unless some of you are looking to stay behind after class to catch up. Welcome. <laughs> Don't be too upset. This is normal. With things like this, you can't expect to change people's views overnight. It takes time and effort. Well then, it looks like I'm all yours for this class. I mentioned earlier about sewing up your clothes for you, didn't I? I also want to take this opportunity to teach you how to knit a sweater. That way, you'll be able to make yourself some warm clothes before the winter comes. <laughs> the fact that you're so ready to look out for me has already made me very happy. But... Really, it doesn't bother me at all. Once in a while, someone takes issue with my background, interests, or the nature of my work. And that's okay. You can't expect everyone in life to see things the way you do. People are always going to talk. It's in their nature. 
and you can't do much to stop them. I don't mind what they say about me. What I care about is the well-being of the Kamisato clan. But that's enough about all that. <laughs> Come on, grab your needle and let's get knitting. Let's start with the classic stockinette stitch. First, wrap the yarn around, pull it through here, then hang it on the needle. Put your thumb on the yarn here, index finger here, and pull it tight. You learn pretty quick, but you need to pay close attention to this. Exactly, just like that. Now, set yourself a small goal to start with. For example, knit a scarf by the time winter arrives. Scarves are always a great choice. When it's finished, you can either wear it yourself or gift it to a friend. <laughs> Just imagining it warms my heart. <laughs>